Good afternoon, everyone. It's Alyssa Corman, Ed Carson, reporting to you live from our newsroom in Los Angeles. And on today's show, we're, of course, going to be analyzing the latest with the broad market action, but we're also going to be taking a look at Lululemon, MasterCard, Heiko, and more. So let's get started with a look at the major indexes today. It was a down day, uh, solid losses across the board. The NASDAQ finishing down about eight-tenths of a percent. The S&P losing seven tenths of a percent, the Dow down almost nine tenths of a percent. We were a little bit off the lows, so the S&P 500 and NASDAQ undercut the 200-day line intraday. A little bit of support at that level for now. I mean, a little bit, but the more important thing is that all the major averages undercut their recent lows. That means right. any kind of stock market rally attempt is over, and now we have to start fresh again. I mean, and yeah, we closed off lows, which is nice, but the fact is, we're basically at the lows of this pullback. I mean, ultimately, when you look at that, you can have hours or days or even weeks sometimes in a correction that are up, but you need to see a sustained uptrend, and we just don't have it right now. Exactly, and the reason why uh, you know we're following these rally attempts very closely is because we want to be looking for the follow through day. We like to follow the market. We don't want to be buying in a correction. We want to wait for a new uptrend to resume buying. So that's that's why we're we're Hawkeyes right now. That's right. All right, everyone, let's take a look at Lululemon, which breached a key technical level today, uh, plunging some 7% in heavy volume. It was looking really good before today, but apparel stocks got slammed pretty hard. And this just goes to show you even the, the strongest of socks can have one really bad day that changes the picture. Yeah, I mean, sometimes crude stocks, and you go, oh, look, it's holding on. I'm going to hold on to it. And, you know, sometimes that can work, but then sometimes you have something that breaks. And this is what happened today. Lululemon, Nike also, it broke through its 200-day line. I mean, Canada Goose, Capri Holdings, Abercrombie & Fitch, they all had disastrous earnings or guidance, so the stocks crashed. It just, it's just a negative sign, and that can happen. You know, this, this, this would have been doing really well. It was our stock of the day yesterday. Hmm. But this is why you don't buy in a correction. This is why you want to mo mostly move to the sidelines in a correction, even if things look okay. That's right. And if you were holding Lululemon, uh, it might be a little tough uh, finding reasons to hold it now. Yeah, I mean, it just seems broken, and the whole sector seems broken hmm. right now. That's right. Well, moving on, uh, a stock that doesn't look broken right now is MasterCard, and payment stocks in general have been holding up really well. And when you look at MasterCard's chart, it doesn't really look like we're in correction mode at all. It uh, gained a fraction today, but more importantly, it's holding your highs, holding nicely above that 50-day line. Yeah, it's holding about the 50-day line. We've got a weekly chart that'll show, that'll show the 10-week line. It's really been hitting support of that, which is basically the weekly counterpart to the 50-day. Right. It's basically at new highs. You see that blue line, the relative strength line. It's been rising. It's been rising for months, really been rising for several years. Mm. Uh, and Visa and PayPal look a lot alike, and a lot of other payment stocks are there. This is our stock of the day. We discuss MasterCard's chart, but also a lot of the other payment stocks. I definitely read it. These are all sort of worthy of watch lists. You know, maybe if we get a stock market rally that's follow through, We'll have something there, but right now, you know, you wouldn't want to have it and then see something like Lululemon, you know, like, right. you know, like oops, no, all of a sudden MasterCard tanks 6%. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, definitely want to be, uh, if, you, if you are holding on to stocks that are performing nicely, mm -hmm. we'll want to be looking at those sell signals as they come in to act quickly. Yes. And moving on, let's take a look at Heiko, which had a really nice day today after a strong earnings report and guidance late Tuesday. It gained about 12% in heavy volume today, uh, breaking out of short sideways action after it broke out of a base uh, in February, so just extending its gains. And I feel like a while back, this was one of our stock of the day uh, stories as well, so a stock like this on our radar. Yeah, and there was sort of an earnings gap, and again, in a better market, maybe you could say buy the earnings gap. Okay. But again, it's just that kind of market. I will say, like the payment stocks, defense stocks, there's a lot of good names. You know, Mercury Systems, uh, Lockheed Martin is doing pretty well. So there's a lot of names in that aerospace defense field that have been doing well. 
That's right. And last but not least, let's take a look at Workday. The ticker there is WDAY. Now, it lost about 4.5% today in heavy volume after hitting an all time high in Tuesday session, reported uh, a good earnings report after the close Tuesday. Earnings growth of 30%, uh, sales growth of 33%. So, so strong growth on the top and bottom lines, but down today with the broader market. Yeah, and it just seems like maybe it's just valuation sell kind of situation because they had guidance that was pretty strong. I mean, it went underneath its buy point a little bit, just briefly, found support of the 50-day, bounced a little bit. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's definitely something to be look at. I mean, the software sector is this big, huge tech sector that has held up really well. Mm, definitely. You know, Workday, you know, is one of a few of the big names that have not done great after earnings. And again, it wasn't a bad report. We got a few others that are coming up in the next couple of days. So can software hold on? I mean, it's just it's just hard to if the market keeps falling. That's right. Uh, you know, uh, one of the tells is how are leading stocks and leading groups performing? Like you mentioned, software has been the standout this year, so we are still seeing, uh, you know, some names holding at those key support levels. But if we continue to see losses, it might be hard for them to continue to yeah, hold up. It's one thing when the market's down 4% to, to still be near highs, but if the market goes down 10% or so, it's hard for growth stocks to hold on. All right, well, we'll be continuing to monitor those signals as they come one way or the other. Uh, but in the meantime, we are definitely still in correction mode. And uh, we will be having a conversation this week on our podcast, which drops tomorrow, about vertical violations, which is what we saw in October. Um, maybe some of that action that we saw this time around, too, that could signal a prolonged sell-off. But for all the details on that, make sure you go to Investors dot com slash podcast so you can get the latest episode as it drops this is going to be a really crucial week to get more of that in-depth analysis about the signs that the market is giving us yes absolutely all right everyone thank you so much for watching and we'll see you right back here tomorrow